guys, welcome back. Today, um, we're gonna do a comparison in between the uh, Kuki G4 and the new Kuki G35. So let's uh, cut to the chase and let's get to it. All right, let's start with the G4. Um, as you know, the G4 is an impact rated or impact certified uh, skydiving helmet, uh, which makes the helmet a little bit taller compared to the G3 the, uh, and the G35 as well. Uh, they upgraded the whole mechanism for opening the, the, the visor compared to the older mechanism with the G3. This one's spring-loaded, so it gives you um, an easier way and, and smoother uh, opening and closing. Also giving you more pressure to create a good seal around the uh, edge of the helmet and the visor. Um, the vents in the front, can you can regulate how um, uh, the, the airflow of the uh, of, uh, of the vents you can shut them or, or open them fully up uh, the air goes in and if you can see here it shoots up those uh, vents inside the helmet goes all the way up and the same from the back so you get good ventilation all around the padding is removable so in time if uh, it gets worn out or if you need to clean it or wash it you can just remove it, wash it with uh, warm water, with mild soap, and then once it's dry, put it back in the helmet. Uh, or if it gets worn out or, or it, uh, it uh, tears uh, because of use, uh, you can just order a brand new, uh, by, um, a brand new uh, padding for it. Uh, you have dual internal um, audible pockets inside, which will fit most uh, of the uh, Audible is currently in the market. You can see that the Kuki G4 has a rubber gasket around the edge, partially around the edge, so you get a good seal. When you shut the helmet down, see how that goes in flushed, mounted. Uh, chin strap for uh, securing the helmet on your head, and you can regulate how uh, tight the chin strap wraps around your head uh, and then micro adjust with the buckle in the bottom. So that's the Kuki G4. You have the option of um, getting uh, custom side plates or different color side plates. These are uh, aluminum side plates. The helmet comes standard with uh, the plastic black uh, Kuki side plates but you can replace these as well as the visor. The visors all come standard, uh, the um, Kuki G4 all come standard with a clear visor. Uh, pretty much all helmets in the market come with a clear visor. And then you can customize it by getting either the tinted uh, or the two options for gradient, which is the blue gradient and the orange gradient visor uh, for the Kuki G4. Again, this is an impact certified helmet. It's a heavier helmet compared to others. Uh, and uh, as you can see, the helmet comes down more on the back to give a bit more protection in the back of your head compared to the previous model like the Kuki G3 or other full face helmets. Now the Kuki G35 uh, keeps pretty much the same design uh, and shape as, um, as the uh, Kuki G3. You can see the helmet sits higher uh, this is a, a soft part of the padding, so you have more room up here. Um, ventilation is really good. Uh, they got rid of the uh, front grille, but you have two inlets in the front, which direct air through the helmet around the back and from the back onto the front of the helmet as well. Uh, opening and closing the mechanism is the similar, uh, um, the same mechanism as the Kuki G4, so it's spring loaded. Uh, and gives you really good ease. You can open it just like that. You have a um, really good complete rubber seal around it, around the edge of the helmet, as you can see it back there. So you have good seal if you're flying in a tunnel or skydiving, you have a really good seal around it. Uh, and you can see how it shuts and flush mounts inside. Um, removable padding also. Uh, so you can uh, replace the padding if it gets worn out. Uh, you have dual internal internal pockets for your audibles. Uh, again, it, these will fit most uh, um, audibles in the market currently, like the Altitude Atlas, 
uh, or the altitude uh, mercuries, also LMB altimeters, uh, brilliant pebbles, uh, and so on. Chain strap, the same, kind of same, same, same system for the collar, which you can adjust internally as well. Um, side plates, these come standard, the black ones come standard with the helmet and then you can customize by getting uh, different color ones or custom uh, engraved ones. Um, the top plates, uh, you can change, the, 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 it comes with the same color as the shell and then you can, if you want to customize your helmet, you can get a different color for the top plate. Remember that the Cookie G35 has the option uh, for uh, additional top plates, which one is specifically for tunnel flying, which is the, um, the skip plate, which is um, highly resistant nylon that is offered by Cookie, uh, so it doesn't scrape um, the, the paint of your helmet. So if you're flying in a tunnel mostly, I definitely recommend getting the skid plate. Then there is the utility plate, which, which uh, we're still waiting to get in because of um, uh, a lot of delays with materials uh, and uh, that Cookie's been having and struggling to get the materials to get it done. Um, which you can uh, mount your GoPro on and then uh, you can have a cutaway system that basically routes through the shell into a channel built in in the helmet and then uh, you can have your um, module system for your camera uh, with the cutaway system as well which will use the uh, cookie roller mounts only. Uh, so the helmet is compared to the Cookie G4 is it is a really light helmet as you can see it is the Cookie G4 is a taller helmet than the G35. Peripheral view around the same. You have a really good view, uh, really wide visor. Uh, also, you have the options of the same colors. Uh, you have the comes with the clear visor, as you can see here, and then you have the option of the tinted one, which is the darkest of all. Uh, then you have the two gradient options, orange and blue. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the mechanism for uh, the uh, visor. Uh, so you can see how, pretty much how it works. So here you can see uh, when I remove the plate from the Cookie G4 uh, visor, uh, this is how the mechanism looks. It's the same type of mechanism for the Cookie G35 and the same way uh, the visors slide into place to uh, to lock them down. So if you're looking to buy uh, your uh, first uh, full face helmet or your Cookie full face helmet, uh, you can go into our website, you can find the G4s and the Cookie G35s as well as the accessories like uh, replacement visors, side plates and uh, other accessories for these helmets. Uh, whatever colors and sizes you're able to select on the website regarding uh, each model, uh, you can choose the size uh, and the color. Uh, whatever you can select and add to your shopping cart is what we do have available and ready to ship. So um, the site will let you know immediately if we have it or not. Uh, whatever is back ordered may, might take right now up to 10 weeks uh, before we can receive them on the G35s. Cookie G4s we do have in stock uh, and we could get it in a shorter period of time. But if you have any questions uh, regarding the times uh, for uh, either Cookie G35 and accessories uh, or any any question regarding uh, the gear we carry, uh, feel free to shoot us an email to gear at shootingstar.com or just uh, give us a call. So in conclusion, both helmets are really good. Uh, it comes to personal preference uh, when choosing a helmet. Uh, also, whatever fits you better, taking consideration that sizing will vary depending on the manufacturer and the type of helmet. So please do measure the circumference of your head and I'll leave you a link uh, up here uh, where you can find a tutorial how to measure for any helmet uh, in the market. Uh, also, if you're looking for something with more protection than other helmets, then Impact Certified Helmets um, are, are recommended if tunnel flying or if you want a bit, a bit more protection, then Cookie G4 would be a good option. Uh, Taking consideration that is a little bit heavier compared to other helmets like Cookie G3, G35, and most helmets out there in the market. But this, the, there's the, the G35 and G4 are constructed similarly. They have similar materials. Um, visor mechanism, it works exactly the same, the spring-loaded uh, mechanism. Uh, 
you have the same color selection for the uh, visors uh, as far as the gradient colors go, the orange and the blue. The tint on the G35 on the tinted visor is darker than the most, um, but again, it comes through personal preference. All helmets come with a clear visor uh, and black uh, visor plates, uh, which you can later on customize and uh, order the aluminum ones with uh, different colors. If you have any questions uh, or concerns, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help you out. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.